Hey everybody, so about uh, two months ago, our friend taught us how to make sourdough bread, and it's really good. I mean, it's so good that I've been eating a loaf of this bread every day for about two months. And the problem with that is starting to get a little belly here. I've actually put on about 10 pounds in two months. And my friend who taught me how to make the sourdough today, he saw a picture of me and he texted me. He's like, no offense, it might look like John might have to cut back on the bread. Ha ha. My wife defends me. Ha ha. Never. It's just a bad angle. So then I kind of was like, okay, let's take a closer look at that. And I was like, man, that's a sourdough double chin. I ain't never had a sourdough double chin in the past. So I hopped on the scale. Yep. And this is what it showed. 195. It actually showed 197 earlier. So anyway, long story short, going on a seven day water fast, starting right now. We're gonna document each day. We're gonna take the weight. We're gonna show the change of my fat body into lean, mean, ripped machine. Woo, woo, woo! You gonna get back in shape? Woo, 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 woo! woo. <laughs> Ain't that right, doggy? We're gonna get back in shape. All right, so this is the first day of the fast. I'm about 16.5 hours into the water fast. And by water fast, I mean, I've put nothing in my body except for pure H2O for seven straight days. Just call me the water boy. Heading out to the beach today. We're going out to uh, some beach on the Oregon coast because it's gonna be 102 degrees in Silverton again today. Too damn hot for this boy. As for right now, I do not have any hunger yet. I had a good dinner at about 5 p.m. last night. Not hungry at all yet. Hopefully, I can make it through this day without getting hunger pains and all that crap. I don't want to feel like crap hanging out at the beach having a good time. So we're at the 21 hour mark since I've had a bite to eat. Zero calories. Just been water bowing it up. I just got my first hint of hunger pains because my wife brought out this really good platter of cheese. That did me, that did me. I wanted a piece of cheese pretty badly. Sitting down by the river on a beautiful day. We were drinking some beers and feeling okay. Then she started saying something stupid. Now I know what you're thinking. It's the 24 hour mark of my fast. And I just went into a McDonald's. I just went in there to smell it, you know, I just wanted to smell it because <laughs> it just looked so appealing. Anyways, actually I went in there to take a leak because I've been drinking water all day. I'm about 1.24 gallons into the day. That's all I've had today. I had to pee like a racehorse, so I stopped at the good old McDonald's and used their pisser. You anyway, don't want some ice cream? That's a 24 hour update. I actually don't have any hunger pains. And that is actually due to taking a hit of the good old Mary Jane. My stomach was kind of starting to hurt, took all the pain away. Maybe had the munchies a little bit, but I think I'm good. I don't need food right now. This is Bobby Boucher. I'll see you in a little bit. It's been about 26 hours now since I've had any food. I'm going to bed here in a couple hours. So I'm just doing a pre-bedtime abdominal workout, doing about 5,000 crunches. Just to kind of keep my brain occupied, you know? Started getting a little hungry again, but you know, once I go to bed, then I'll be in the clear. I can make it till tomorrow for sure. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the nightly weigh in here. Last night it said 196 point something or something like that. So let's see what we got 192.6, 26 hours later. Woo! Burning the fat. Burning the fat. We're burning, 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 burning the fat. Whoo! Gonna do some dog ups now. One, two, three, four, five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. One legged dog ups. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alrighty then. Well, good morning, y'all. It's Bobby Boucher, Waterboy here. 
It's 6 a.m., about 38 hours into the water fast right now. Woke up feeling pretty energized, uh, pretty much just ready for the day. Now, I don't have really any hunger pains right now, which is awesome. Yesterday, I kind of had this lingering headache on the side of my head all day, and it would not go away. Uh, and I'm guessing that that was my food withdrawal. It was like my body saying, give me that food, give me that food, I'm going to make you suffer, boy. But I didn't eat nothing, so the headache finally went away, withdrawal's gone away, no stomach pains, and I'm going to pump, pump all day long with my really funky setup here that I just made. You do the punching, you know, practice your boxing, really work those fucking boxing muscles. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, we're at the 38 hour mark, doing pretty good. All right, Bobby Boucher here. It's about 43 or 44 hours since I've eaten. Definitely getting a little hungry, especially because I'm jarring up hamburger that I just cooked up for my dog. So I got the scent of hamburgers in the house right now. This is a true test of courage, emotional strength, because I can feel that hamburger just wanting to go into my belly right now. So nothing's really changed. I feel okay. I kind of feel weird. Almost like my body's converting over to ketosis or something. It kind of feels like, like my legs are like jello-y right now. Like I don't have the strength to do a bunch of stuff, but I think that's where the mental strength comes in. This is the point where you just gotta push through, sit down, do like 5,000 more sit-ups, you know? Can't be a wussy. Oh man, it's about the 50th hour mark since I had any food. And it just hit me like a bunch of bricks smashing on my balls. Got real tired all of a sudden. Basically don't want to move from the couch. I think I might just plop here for the rest of the night. And I'm guessing that tomorrow I'll wake up energized. Because the last time I did a fast, it was a three-day fast. And, uh... I remember the third day feeling more energized than the second. So we'll see if the same thing happens. But as for now, I'm a couch boy for life. <laughs> Water boy, checking in 52 hours. I'm about ready to go to bed. I've been feeling really tired actually for the last like six hours. Mostly laying on the couch, scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and all this food kept coming up and it was making my stomach hurt. Making me want the food really bad, but I powered through. So I'm gonna do my weigh-in for the day. My weigh-in comes in at, whoa, wow. down to 190. 197 the first time I weighed myself now. We're down to one, almost 190. I'm gonna try to do a woo before bed. I have no energy actually. Hopefully more energy tomorrow. But here we go. All right, all right, it's been 60 hours now. I just woke up, it's like 5.30 in the morning. Came back to my dude lab here. What I did yesterday was took a bunch of apples off my tree, because I can't eat right now, but I got like 100 apples outside that are ready to uh, be eaten. So what I decided to do is start dehydrating the apples. And I coated them with some nice cinnamon. So I came back to my back room and it smells like fresh cinnamon apples in here like no other, which is a very good smell, but it's one of those things again where you're like, I haven't eaten in 60 hours. I would love to just start eating these apples, but I'm gonna be saving those for after the water fast. And I also uh, jarred up some pickles yesterday. I had a whole bunch of big old cucumbers like this so I made like five jars of pickles, since those will go bad maybe if I don't eat them this week. And today's goal was actually to start preserving my cherry tomatoes because my tomato plants outside are absolutely loaded with tomatoes. Maybe a million tomatoes out there. So I gotta start putting them in bags, freezer bags, and putting them in the freezer. Anyway, it's 5.30 in the morning, feeling definitely way more energetic than I did before I went to bed. I was lethargic before I went to bed not feeling it. I was feeling kind of weird, but now I feel like 
I'm ready to, you know, just like get in a boxing ring with Muhammad Ali and just kick some ass. Something like that, you know. I'm ready to go. <sighs> I'm nearing the 70 hour mark and still feeling pretty good. However, right now I gotta pick tomatoes off my tomato plant and make my wife one of my favorite foods, which is a sourdough tomato and cheese sandwich. So this is gonna be tough because I wanna make one for myself, but three days almost, gotta make it, gotta make it four more days, unless it rains. If it rains, I'm gonna eat. That's my, my catch. I think I've decided it might rain Friday. It's got a 20% chance of rain. Doesn't really have anything to do with anything except for I love the rain and if it rains, I'm gonna eat. Oh man, look at that cheese starting to melt. Got the cucumber, fresh tomatoes. Dog, dang it. I wanna eat that. Oh man, little garlic powder and Dijon mustard on there. Why in the hell did I agree? to make my wife lunch. All right, we got a special delivery for the beautiful wife over there. Enjoy. Yeah, looks delicious. I wish I could enjoy that. But oh. four more days till I can enjoy that. I was gonna try and show it, but it's gonna fall off the... Either way, that ain't no fair at all. <laughs> so we're about 75 hours into the fast. Just out here doing a little bike ride with the dog. Feeling a lot better than I did the same time yesterday. I couldn't even get off the couch yesterday, but definitely got a little bit more energy. Still pretty much just thinking about food all day long. And I'd say that's the hardest part of this whole damn thing. Just keep thinking about food over and over and over. All I can picture is like the best food. I just need it. It basically comes down to, I think I just eat out of boredom most of the time and I don't really need the food. So yeah, 75 hours past the three day mark. This is officially the longest I've ever water fasted. I'm starting to uh, really look forward to Friday because the weather says 40% chance of rain now instead of 20. I got a 40% chance of eating. Three more days to go, possibly. Alrighty, we made it to the 77 hour mark of the water fast and I'm getting really tired. Mostly uh, uneventful day, I've just been sitting on the couch trying to stay off Facebook and Instagram. Because every time I go onto Facebook and Instagram, the second I scroll down there's something delicious on there. Some steak, something real tasty and it just sucks. So I want to eat it bad. Anyway, we're going to do the weigh in. This is the day three end weigh in. All right, here, here we go. Oh boy, we got 187.7. So we're down about 10 pounds at this point after the third day. Well, top of the morning to y'all. It is Wednesday around 6 a.m. This is day four now of the fast starting here. Uh, last night, I kind of slept like bunghole. I went to bed around uh, 9.30 like a good boy. But then, at midnight, I think it was, I woke up. My stomach kind of had this knot in it again. And it was begging me for food. And basically, I kind of felt nauseous, so I couldn't sleep. No matter what I did, I was just sitting in bed like da dang da dang it i need to sleep bad finally i was like screw this i went to my kitchen i grabbed my uh handy dandy vaporizer i vaped down some medical marijuana devil's lettuce mary jane cannabis and guess what took the stomach ache away didn't make me hungry but it made me ass out after just laying there pissed off because I couldn't sleep. So I would say that it's actually not a bad thing to do when you're water fasting. As long as you don't get the munchies. If you smoke too much, you're going to get the munchies. But I didn't get the munchies. I asked back out. Woke up at 6 a.m. Pretty tired, but drinking my morning 
Joe a cup of black weak coffee there and it's pumping me right back up today I think I'm gonna be less lazy even if I'm tired I'm just gonna force myself to do sit-ups and all this funky stuff you know get my ass off the couch today lots of activities a few days to go maybe two days to go if it rains so we're at the 90 hour mark with no food right now and not feeling too bad have pretty good energy just uh have a little bit of a stomach ache oh i think i might need to drink some more water oh man so i'm just trying to distract myself out here throwing balls to the big boy anything to distract myself from wanting to freaking pound a steak some hamburgers some cheeseburgers oh man food looks real good right now any pictures of food i see i just want to eat it bad but no freaking way man we got 22 percent chance of rain friday now a couple days off and if it rains i'm gonna eat maybe some watermelon maybe the last peach off my tree <laughs> god i hope it rains Time to go back home, get some water. So we just made it to the four freaking day mark. 96 hours, no food. Actually feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Just went on a jog with the dog, the big boy. Now I'm doing some abs. Trying to get the cardio back because I was freaking lazy the last two days, to be honest. Laid on the couch, looking at food on the internet, being a little biatch. It's time to pump it up. We made it four days with no food. I'm talking zilch, zero, not a food. That is something to celebrate. So we're gonna do about a thousand dog ups here. And if you don't know what a dog up is, you take your golden doodle, you hold him like this, and you squat down nice and deep to really good thigh and core workout. So, at about 986 to go. Plus the dogs really enjoy it. All right, all right, all right. We made it to 100 hours into the water fast and guess what i'm doing i'm taking a little puffy puff of the the snoochie boochie it's pure indica and it actually makes my stomach feel really good so i've decided not for you big boy i said not for you sorry yeah not for the dog this is not intended for dogs but it doesn't really give me the munchies. It just takes away the stomach kind of funny feeling. So I'm just going to keep doing this anytime I feel like crap. I think that the marijuana <laughs> would be best for any kind of stomach ache, in my opinion. Because I'm, I'm definitely a doctor. Come on over here. We're going to do 100 hour weigh in. Day four end here. Hop on the scale. And boo yeah. Hey dog, shut your mouth. I'm trying to weigh myself. 185.6. So uh after four full days, a little bit more time, what are we down? 12 pounds. I mean, <laughs> I think I might be getting sexy again. I've been an ugly fat boy for too long. Alright, so we're at the 114 hour mark of no food. Feeling pretty damn good considering I would say last night was kind of crappy because I woke up at one o'clock or something. Could not go back to sleep. So I was almost up all freaking night uh, sitting on the couch pissed off because I couldn't sleep. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty energized considering I got like no sleep. So we're on day five now. Day five, I got two days to go without food. 
unless we get the miracle rain tomorrow, which is now like a 10 to 20% chance of rain. So there's a good chance I'm going to make it the full seven days because if it doesn't rain, I'm going full seven freaking days. And that food is going to be the best food of my life. I already know that. I'm going to appreciate the food big time. This is my abandoned water cup. This is my special cup that Bobby Boucher drinks out of. All right. I need to drink another gallon of water today and everything will be groovy, baby. hour mark on Thursday day five of the water fast definitely still hungry get a little stomach cramp every so often and I find I just need to drink water and you know take a little puff puff nothing's really changed today I just sat on my ass in front of the computer all day uh, watching the stock market and that kind of just stressed me out I realized it's not a very good thing to do when you're fasting sit there and look at something stressful on a computer screen so yeah i wouldn't recommend that tomorrow's friday if it rains it's got a 23 percent chance of rain if it rains i'm gonna maybe break that fast on day six be a wussy and eat if not we're eating saturday for shizzle i'm gonna eat all kinds of nizzle no matter what isle all right we just made it to the five day mark of the water fast and it just started magically raining. It wasn't even supposed to rain today. You know what that means? I have permission for some stupid reason to break the fast, not go the seven days. Because I'll tell you what, I've been bored as shit. Sitting on the couch, yeah, bored. Dreaming of food all day. Barely slept last night. <laughs> Me and the big boy are gonna celebrate the rain here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh shoot. Oh no. <laughs> shoot. I just lost my hair. Uh, Big one. Leave it. No. N uh oh. Well, in the shit paper vanish like a fart. One more question left. What am I going to eat for dinner? What am I going to eat? What am I going to break this fast with? Breakfast this shit with all kinds of possibilities. We got watermelon, we got peaches, we got all kind of good stuff at home. One thing's for sure though, I'm going to break this fast and I'm going to break it good. Alrighty, so we made it five days without a single calorie. It was not freaking easy. About an hour ago, I went on Facebook like an idiot and I saw a post that said, Oregon issues a statewide emergency for drought, extreme dry conditions. And then literally five minutes later, I go on a bike ride with this big boy. And what's it do? It starts raining. So that was a good sign. And it was exactly at the five day mark. I say, F it, man. F this fast. But first we gotta do the results. So the real results here. And get a little side shot. So hopefully it looks something different. Because I feel like I lost some weight. And here's the front view. I'm gonna do the woo. Woo! I'm thinking maybe my wife will think I'm kinda sexy now. Maybe. I mean, cause before she would always tell me I'm super fat and ugly. But maybe now I'll get her attention. The final weigh-in, right now. 
Oh boy. 183.6. So if I did my math correct, I lost 100 pounds <laughs> in five days. Uh, 197 minus 183.6. That's, no, that's 99 pounds I lost in freaking five days. I'm actually surprised I'm not dead. There's only one thing left to do. Break this fast. I've been dreaming about a certain kind of food, and I'm gonna go get in my freaking car right now and go get it. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. All right, so we're here at the magic destination, the place where I'm gonna break the fast. Just gotta get the goods to do it. Uh, hello? Hi, what can I get for you today? Uh, so, uh, I haven't eaten in five days. I've been doing a water fast. And I was just wondering what you'd recommend to break that water fast with on the menu. Wait, wait, so what was that? Uh, oh, I've been doing a water fast for five days. I'm just wondering if there's something good on the menu to eat, uh, to break the fast. To break a fast? Yeah. Oh, what I'd do to break a fast, I'd probably do a double Big Mac. A double Big Mac? Oh, man. Double Big Mac and a large fry, that's what I do. That sounds excellent. Uh, how about just a cheeseburger? Just a plain old cheeseburger. Just Can a I, cheeseburger? Just a simple old cheeseburger. Alrighty. Anything else? Nope, that's it. 129 is the next one, though. Alright, thank you. Coming up to the window of heaven here in a second. The window of heaven at McDonald's. Good old fashioned American food. Made in the USA, here we go. Most people online, they say you should never break a fast with something funky like a cheeseburger. But she recommended something way worse than a cheeseburger. She said double quarter pounder. So I took it easy, I went with the cheeseburger. I mean. And a large fry. <laughs> and a large fry, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I think that uh, what I went with is going to be very good on the stomach. Like when your body, when your body hasn't eaten for five days, it's absolutely necessary to give it the proper nutrition, and that is definitely a cheeseburger. You're the one cheeseburger. That's the cheeseburger, man. Yep, that's me. Breaking a fast. I'm breaking a fast. <laughs> I'm breakfasting, breakfast. Why did you fast? Uh, Cause she, my wife, she kept calling me fat. She was like, <laughs> no. Yeah, she was calling me fat every day. She's like, blind John, you're so fat. And I was like, no, I'm not fat. I'm not gonna be fat in five days. So I didn't eat for five days. Dang. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> he was snoring. Here's your cheeseburger. Awesome, thanks man. It's the best <laughs> day of my night. life. Party on. <laughs> best day of my fucking life right here. <laughs> now I have to go to my sacred place to eat this. I'm not eating this shit in the car. Dog dang, that's smelling good. What do you think, big boy? Is that a good smelling cheeseburger? Mmm. It does smell good. Mmm. All right back at my sacred place, my backyard garden. Got the uh, beautiful ripe tomatoes behind me that I haven't been able to eat, but I'm not gonna eat those. They're too healthy to break a fast with. That's why I went all the way to McDonald's. It was a 30 minute drive to McDonald's just to get this cheeseburger. And take a look at that glorious cheeseburger. That's probably the best looking cheeseburger I've ever seen. I mean, would you take a look at that? Just take a look at that. Big boy, take a look at that. Does that look good? I mean, I'm very excited. This might be the most excited I've been in this whole damn quarantine, Rona, stupid ass 2020 year. It's been a shit year, but this is the best freaking day of the year by far. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just fucking with you, man. I would never break fast with this McDonald's fake bullshit. I would never do it. But I would give the patty to my big boy, golden doodle, special boy dog. 
He is the best dog ever, and he deserves a special treat. He's never had McDonald's. This is like giving my little boy, if he was a real human boy, like giving him his first happy meal. He's getting the first happy meal right now. McDonald's fucking happy meal. What do you think, big boy? I hope you don't throw up on my floor tonight or take a big old diarrhea because that's some nasty crap. Enjoy this one time because that's all you kidding. So, for the real moment of truth, last peach off my tree this year, the smallest peach. I had like 50 peaches on my tree this year, right over there, that big old peach tree. This is the final peach I kept in my fridge this whole time. I was smelling it every day and it smells real good. This is the most organic backyard food you can get. And I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I mean, this is like when Michael Jordan scored that winning point in the 1996 playoffs or whatever, buzzer beater. It's that exciting. Oh shit, he's eating the buns. Oh no. Really throw those out. We don't want to give Big Boy the buns. He's gluten intolerant. <laughs> Sorry, Big Boy. I don't want you shatting on my floor. The fast is officially over, folks. I'm going to do a little recap. Basically, all the shitty parts about fasting is all I want to talk about. Here's the shitty parts. Day one, I had a food withdrawal headache all damn day on the side of my head very annoying then i was too wired to sleep so i was up half the night the first night the second day i felt pretty dang good until midday then i just absolutely crashed i felt like a 90 year old dying man i was so tired lay down on the couch went to bed third day was basically a repeat of the second day energized in the morning super duper duper tired at night time fourth day I think it was about the same. The fifth day, what happened last night was I went to bed at 9.30 because I was so tired. And uh, I woke up at like 1 a.m. or it might have even been midnight to the dog licking my face because he wanted to go outside. And then I couldn't go back to sleep and I was just laying there all freaking night long. Got like... I'm guessing, what is that, like three hours freaking sleep, four hours maybe. So I've just been feeling like crap all day, lethargic, hungry, dreaming of food. And some people online, they're like, man, a, a water fast is like this great thing. They're like, it makes you feel so good. You feel energized, clear-minded. But I mean, for me, I was just bored off my ass, feeling like crap laying on the couch i didn't even have the motivation to mow my lawn to do the dishes to do any laundry i basically was a, just a giant sluggish pile of crap i think this is something you should do once a year a uh, five to seven day water fast to cleanse out all your internal organs kind of flush out all the crap that's been building up in there literally <laughs> and uh like forrest gump says well that that's about it. Damn, these times are weird. God damn, they're strange. Been locked up in my house for 69 days. Binge watching Tiger King. Smoking lots of weed. Surviving no All right, so if you guys found this documentary interesting, entertaining, anything like that, please uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Maybe uh, tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see me doing, music or whatnot, whatever the heck you can think that you'd like to see me do for more film projects in the, in the future. Down in the description box below, there's a link to a movie my friend and I did called The Fastest Man in the World, where I basically am a real weird dude that tries to become the fastest man in the world. About me going uh, and trying to beat Usain Bolt in the Beijing Olympics.